Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Ray and today I'm going to show you a really simple and hearty egg dish, shakshuka. Let's cook! For the base, we're gonna start by dicing some onions, chopping some garlics, as well as some capsicum and chilies. The capsicums and chilies here are optional, it's not really essential for the recipe but I think it adds sweetness and complexity to the dish. But if you don't like them, you can just skip these two ingredients and you'll be fine. Just dash the capsicums into small pieces like this and slice up the chilies. You can use red chili, green chili, whichever you like. And today I wanna serve my shakshuka with some toast. So now I'm just cutting some slices of baguette here and transfer it to a baking tray lined with baking paper and drizzle it with some olive oil then season it with some salt and black pepper After that you can pop those in a preheated oven at 180 degrees celsius for about 10 minutes In the meantime we're gonna start cooking the shakshuka base just heat up a pan over medium high heat with 2-3 to three tablespoons of olive oil Add in the onions and garlic And just saute them together until the onion has turned translucent Next, it's time to add in the spices Here I'm using 1 big pinch of cumin seeds 1 pinch of chili flakes 1 teaspoon of smoked paprika powder And just saute all the ingredients together until aromatic Next, we can start adding in the capsicum and chilies we want to add texture to the sauce, that's why we're adding in the chili and capsicum last. Next, add in a big pinch of salt and pepper. And followed by a can of chopped tomatoes. And now we have to simmer this for about 10 minutes, just to let the flavors meddle in together. So I'm just gonna add a splash of water so it doesn't reduce too much. And by the time you finish mixing the base, the toast should be ready and out of the oven. I'm just gonna transfer them to a bowl and set them aside until we're ready to serve. Now back to our shakshuka. After 10 minutes, your sauce should look something like this. And now is the perfect time to taste and adjust the seasoning. Because the step after this is to put in the eggs and there's no way of you telling if the flavors are right or not. You don't wanna crack the eggs straight into the sauce, just in case you get eggshells or a rotten egg. So what I would suggest is to just crack it into a bowl first, then transfer it to the sauce by making a well first then drop the egg into the mixture and don't forget to season the egg with some salt and black pepper after that just cover the pan and let the egg cook for about 2-3 to three minutes in the meantime we can start prepping our serving board here I have some coriander leaves to top the shakshuka later and also the bowl of bread that I toast earlier and here I have a piece of napkin just to protect the board from the hot pan when your shakshuka looks like that, that means it's ready you can just turn off the heat ideally the yolk should still be very runny so the egg should feel very soft to touch like that. And now I'm just topping the shakshuka with some coriander leaves and some crumbled feta cheese. Feel free to choose any cheese you like, but I think feta works best for this dish. And there you have it guys, my take on the amazingly simple shakshuka. I really like that super simple recipe. And if you do, please leave this video a like and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And here are links to my previous videos, so check it out guys. And next time my shipment is going to be in the description box below. Leave a comment below, let me know what you want to see me cook next week. See you next time guys, bye!